Okay, here is a uh, plastic wheel. This pulley right here, um, I machined on this little lathe. It's amazing how much junk that produces just by shaving off a little bit. But uh, anyway, what we have here is a half inch hole for a half inch shaft. Now let's just say that your output shaft that you want to measure mechanical work on is one half inch. That's going to fit perfectly into that. Right here, I have this turned down, and my tap, the shaft was too big for uh, to follow all the way through that much thickness, so I just machined a hole that was a quarter inch thick from here to about halfway, so that I could get the, sha the, the tap shaft to follow it, so I could get the threads cut all the way through. You can see those threads there. That's basically for a set screw, so I can screw that in onto the sh and lock it onto the shaft, which I'm going to file uh, or grind a little um, flat spot on a shaft to lock it into place so this doesn't spin independently of the shaft when it locked onto the shaft. This right here, I machine this groove so that I can do some uh, horsepower tests to see the actual mechanical work done. Okay, this is a leather belt, and these are calibrated spring-loaded scales that you can attach this belt to so that you can see how much the deflection is. So anyway, this belt will fit in here. I'm doing this one-handed. Okay, so as this wheel spins, it's going to pull on the belt in one direction or another, depending on how it's spinning, and based on the pounds right there you can determine how many um, foot pounds uh, you got going on now the grooved part right here this inside part I wanted exactly 12 inches circumference so that it's easy to calculate uh, one foot pound that is one foot is 12 inches obviously okay now these smaller calipers unless you got a deep jaw caliper you're not going to be able to lock on just lock on to a uh, wheel that big to see what it is so just to make it easy um, well first of all 3.82 inches diameter will give you a 12 inch circumference to make that one foot in circumference okay this small caliper obviously won't do it and I was looking at deep jaw calipers and they're pretty expensive you know if you got these things going you know a few more inches long so this is a nine dollar something giant caliper from Harbor Freight nine bucks that's it and that did the job because this can actually measure that um, the measurements are only in 16 7 inch if you're going by the standard measurements and so you can see here I'm just a hair over 13 sixteenths, 3 and 13 sixteenths, which is about as cl as accurate as I can get with this equipment to 3.82 inches to make one uh, foot circumference. Okay, so if I take that or that's measured, that's locked on there pretty tight uh, with no play. And so right there you can see, pull it away and it grabs onto it. That's how... Um, tight it is. So that's just a hair past 13, 3, 3 and 13 sixteenths of an inch. That gives me 3.82 inches diameter, one foot. So anyway, this is the kind of wheel that you're going, you're going to need to use. Preferably, I mean it can be any diameter, but if you just have a 12 inches diameter, that just makes the measurements easy because you know you got one foot um, in circumference. And so that could go on a shaft, that could be on an SG or any other type of device that you want to measure the horsepower. I got another device that I'm measuring that this is specifically made for. Um, I guess you could take a propane por torch, put it to this and make it all clear and shiny, but you know, I'm not going to see it anyway, so I'm not really concerned about that. Um, I use a 1024 thread, 1024 screw. So anyway, that'll lock down onto the shaft, and as that's turning, and you're easy, you'll be able to easily measure the power. 
uh, and just use the uh, method that uh, Peter Lindemann shared on um, doing this old school dynamometer method to measure horsepower coming off of a shaft. This perfectly applies to the Bedini SG so that you can see exactly how much mechanical work is coming there. Measure the mechanical work, add it to what you wind up in the output battery compared to the input draw and you're going to see the true COP of the system. Again, this will work on pretty much any system. So anyway, hopefully that's uh, helpful to you. 3.82 inches diameter, 12 inches around. Plastic, you can probably make this out of metal or whatever else. I'm, I'm, I'm not really a machinist. I just have a milling machine and this little lathe um, that I can do some of this little work on. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that and uh, look forward to your own uh, power measurements that you can post on energyscienceforum.com. Thank you.